Welcome to UEN Video. This is our another in our series of videos to look at how to manage images in Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. We're going to take a look at this specific idea of rotating images. There's some powerful things you can do with it and some useful things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image and you'll notice that when I do that this grab handle here turns into this rotational type of grab handle. When I mouse the cursor over it, it kind of turns into a rotational type of a cursor. So once I select that item, I can then rotate and drag my cursor around until I get you know in a position that I want it to be in. So you know, partly upside down or whatever. One of the tricks of doing this though, when I'm trying to manage where this is located at, is you know once you've played with it, getting it right back to zero is kind of a challenge. I thought it, I may have just had it there. But getting it right back to where it's level is kind of tricky. I can fix that by choosing this picture tools and it brings up this format ribbon. Here underneath the size, there's a little more button. I can click on that more button and it will bring up the size and position dialog box. And actually mine is right on zero. I managed to get it right back to zero. I can change that rotation and make that, you know, 46 degrees and close and it'll change it and put it at a 46 degree angle. I can go back in there and change it to be 180 degrees and it'll flip it exactly upside down. So that's kind of a useful tool is being able to know that you can do that. Additionally, there's a new tool that's available is some greater rotation options. I'm going to right click on my image and change format picture which brings up this dialog box and there's a 3D rotation. You'll notice I can set the X axis, let's set that to 45. So that's how it's twisted around. Let's actually leave that at zero for now. It's the Z axis that we want to look at and we'll put that one to 45. And it switched it. Now it's not the 45 that I thought I was, I was expecting, but you can come in here and just adjust this and change the rotation of your item to give it a little different feel. Now on a flat piece it's maybe not as useful as some other pieces, but you can do some some rotations of how an image looks. So again those two things were this size and rotation item and then the right click format the picture and the 3D rotation were the two tools that were that part of that. Okay, there's a couple of things I can do to flip and rotate images. Now, if I select this image here of this young man, I can grab this little grab handle and I can twist that. Nothing I do will do anything but turn him around in a circle. I'll do that. Um, what I'm saying is if I wanted him facing the other direction, there's nothing I can do that will do that. However, there's a there's a quick shortcut to do it. If I grab on this grab handle on the edge and click, I can drag until he flips. And then you'll notice I have him flipped around. I'm going to quickly copy that and paste it. So I've got it again, and now I can flip it the other direction. So I can do that that way, and I can get the two pictures looking at each other. Now this is where that 3D rotation tool actually becomes really helpful. I'm going to delete these both out really quick and insert them back in, insert one of them back in. So I've got this picture here, and I want to get a copy of it and then flip the copy. So I have this other picture. If I want to keep it just the right size, I could check the size, I could check the things. But this is where that 3D rotation option comes in. Really handy. I'm going to format the picture. I'm going to choose the 3D rotation. And right here on the X axis, I'm going to choose 180 degrees. And so I didn't have to worry about the size. It just flipped my image. And so I have these two looking at each other kind of changes a few things, but it's a way you can adjust your images to get mirrors and get some other things that work nicely in Microsoft PowerPoint. So that's flipping, rotating, and spinning images. Hopefully that you find that useful and you can use that in your Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 slideshows in the future.